cells divide they have to for us to stay alive for everything from asexual reproduction of protists and single-celled organisms to just making more skin cells or just replacing cells that are falling that are dying we have to constantly replace cells all the time and uh, you might have heard of the term mitosis before mitosis is the very specific events that take place when the cell actually divides all the genetic material as well too but in general when you're looking at a diagram like this and you type in for example a cell cycle into google and take a look at all the images you'll get tons of graphs that look like this but they're all pretty much uh, the same or they might show these things to different proportions but in general to understand what the basic cell cycle is and the basic cell cycle it consists of two larger phases and one of those and then each of those phases can be split into smaller ones so in general we divide we call, we divide the cell cycle into interphase and mitosis or the actual dividing phase so we say interphase interphase is what's outlined here highlighted here in yellow in this low quality diagram here so interphase is pretty much the majority of the time that a cell uh, will be in so if i take a snapshot of any kind of uh, cell if i sample any cell from human tissue or animal tissue or plant tissue uh, most likely i'll catch it in the middle of interphase and so interphase uh, before i break it down into the three separate sections that scientists have tried to identify uh, or have given these names to in general interphase is it looks like it's a very i mean when mitosis is happening it's really really exciting but this is not to be confused as a really boring time where nothing is going on this is where all the major metabolic reactions and things like that are actually happening inside cells so uh, in interphase it is actually very active uh, later on we're going to learn about uh, transcription and translation or it's called protein synthesis and uh, a lot of the proteins are being made proteins including all the enzymes all the enzymes all the hormones all the uh, antibodies all those things that are being made are happening during interphase and we're also increasing the number of organelles like mitochondria or mitochondria and chloroplasts if you're a plant cell so those things are being uh, being uh, duplicated in here so you're getting an increasing number so we can split up interphase into so if we start here uh, we call the G1 phase the S phase and the G2 phase G1 just stands for growth we call that growth one phase G2 st G2 stands for growth second phase growth two and S just stands for synthesis uh, let's start with G1 then okay so G1 growth basically uh, the cell the cellular content such as the organelles are being increased not the DNA, not the chromosomes. That's specifically happening um, here. So basically, we're increasing the number of organelles. Okay, and if the cell is going to divide, well, when it splits into two, we don't want to immediately have all the number of organelles. So we want to make sure we have enough um, when this thing turns into two cells. S phase is synthesis. Each of the chromosomes here are duplicated. Now. I'll show this in a separate diagram, the specific, a separate video, the specifics of mitosis and actually replicating all the genetic material. But in synthesis, this is where each of the chromosomes is duplicated so that when the cell divides, we'll end up with the correct number in each cell. So for example, if this is a human cell and there are 46 chromosomes in there, during synthesis phase, each one of those 46 chromosomes is going to grow a little copy attached to it so technically speaking you'd have 46 multiplied by 2 92 uh, strands of dna you could think of and then when those 92 split then you're going to end up with 46 and 46 which is the correct number for a human body cell growth two phase is preparation for mitosis and this will be treated uh, separately but for now you can see we have prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. At the end of telophase, uh, the cytoplasm is divided and some people, technically this is not part of mitosis, but there's a fancy name for dividing the cytoplasm and it's called cytokinesis. Cytokinesis would happen at the end there. So G1, S, G2, then the stages of mitosis, 
and there's a nice acronym to help you remember this. And then the cytoplasm divides at the end, uh, cytokinesis, and then the, you end up with two cells. So uh, you should be able to do the math for this. One cell turns into two cells. Each one divides, then you end up with a total of four cells, and then eight, 16. It's multiplying by two each time. And a couple of random facts for you over here, just to know approximately how long it takes for cells to divide. If you're bacteria, 20 minutes, that's pretty fast. If you are beans, 19 hours. And if you're a mouse, possibly 22 hours right there. So where is cell division important? Um, I mentioned this before, basically in repair of any kinds of cells that need to be replaced. Growth and development, when you start off like this, you're a zygote in the beginning. One sperm cell and one egg cell have fertilized, and then it starts to divide, 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 so the growth and development. The cells will eventually start to specialize and differentiate, you know that word as well too, differentiate into their specialized uh, jobs, and also for general cell division. So we're gonna see this a little bit later as well. All right.